Hello, welcome to the January house. This is Mike. Today's video is a what sold video and I'm going to show you how I ship one of these items out uh, that's a little awkward. So let's jump into it. First up is the awkward item. It is a 14 by 18 Robert Duncan print. We got this in an estate sale with a number of other paper items. So we have a dollar cost and then this we sold it for $12.99. Um, it's a little weird uh, since it doesn't have a frame to ship out. Um, but stay tuned, I'll show you how I do it. Next up is a board game, Catan. We had a number of board games that we found in a storage locker. And maybe a month ago, in one day I listed um, a number of them. Actually, almost all of them, except for this one. For some reason, this one did not get listed that day. And it's been sitting on the shelf with those other games um, for a while now. So yesterday, I finally listed this game and it sold within five minutes probably a dollar cost into this game and we sold it for fifteen dollars plus shipping all right next up is another board game um, it's an older um, vintage you'll see sometimes these older vintage uh, role-playing games this is a civil war embrace the angry wind embrace an angry wind um, you can see it's it's not in the best shape the box but what you want to look for is the game pieces um, for these games. Sometimes they can be unpunched or mostly unpunched like this one is. So this one is, we listed as 99% unpunched. You can see there's a couple missing there. Um, and we have a dollar cost into this game. We sold it for $30 plus shipping. All right, next up is a DVD. They live. It's the collector's edition. Uh, Ten cent cost into this DVD. We sold it for eleven dollars plus shipping. All right. Next two items are small, so they're already packaged up, ready to go. First is this vintage GI Joe orange pilot's helmet. Got this on an online uh, auction of vintage GI Joe accessories. So twenty five cent cost into this. Uh, and we sold it for $20 plus shipping. It's even missing uh, some components inside the helmet. Uh, but a good little sale for an item that's, that's pretty small. Next up is this Masters of the Universe figure. Uh, not the most popular figure. This is Mechanek. Uh, we sold this for $9 plus shipping. Got this guy in an estate sale. There was actually a box of... Uh, He-Man or Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, a number of them were broken and missing pieces. Um, but we bought the whole lot and we've been parting it out. Um, the accessories, the figures, even the broken figures have sold. Um, I'm actually almost completely out of that lot that we sold from the estate sale. So uh, don't be afraid to pick up broken figures as long as they're good. Uh, vintage, maybe G.I. Joe, Transformers. Uh, or Masters of the Universe like this. All right, let's jump into how to ship this print. Okay. First, we just will get a couple pieces of cardboard. So when I have boxes, I cut um, a number of them down into strips like this. So I always have uh, a few pieces laying around. So I will sandwich the print in between these two pieces of cardboard. And then I'll be right back. All right, so I sandwiched the print in between the two pieces of cardboard. And then I took a another scrap piece and just laid it lengthwise on both sides just to give it a little bit more stability uh, so that when it goes through the mail, you know, it just has less tendency to, to be bent. Um, but yeah, I just taped it for spots here and then put those stabilizers I call them in there and now we're gonna bubble wrap it all right we bubble wrapped the sandwich print and here's how it looks it's pretty sturdy it's good protection all the way around front and back and now what we're gonna do is literally take this and throw it in the trash. All right, this is the final product. Check it out. So just to recap, we have the print, 
sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard with some uh, stabilizer cardboard pieces on the outside. And then we wrapped all of that uh, in bubble wrap. And then I literally took that package and stuck it into a 30 gallon black trash bag. And then um, just taped it all up. I didn't cut the trash bag or anything, just folded it uh, so it fit around that bubble wrap package. And then put some regular shipping tape. And we'll print a label and stick it on here and this will be good to go. Uh, this is 12 ounces, but I will ship it out uh, priority mail. Just I feel that's a little um, a little better, a little safer uh, to get to the customer. And again, we charge shipping for this, so um, the customer paid priority shipping anyway, pricing. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. And let me know what you think about my packing job for that print, uh, or if you have a better way or a different way. Uh, I'd love to hear it. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.